Hello everybody, my name is Marnik Body. A very, very tired Marnik Body right now, but that's fine. And we're playing some more RimWorld. This is episode 2 of the small colony that we have going on right here, as you can clearly see. And there's a reason why it's paused. Uh, that's because at the very, very end of the last episode, right, like, literally right when it ended, we got this transport pod that crashed. And we did not see what it was. It's a person. Out in the middle of... The ocean, uh, the sharks are probably gonna get her, or is it a he? I don't, I don't even know. It's a male. All right, sharks are probably gonna get him, but I mean, we'll try to save him. Try. I put up the little blueprints of a small little room here. It's very, very tiny, but I'm hoping that this room will be enough for him to kind of exist in. Don't let them escape! Don't let them escape! Don't let them escape! Come on! Come on! Come on! Yeah, do not. I said, don't let them escape. <sighs> Fucking hell, hot banana dog. You're way too strong for your own good. Jeez. Oh, 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 what's this? Draws near to ancient wall a sense of... Okay, so, yeah. Don't open that. That's kind of what I thought would be in there. Just not good. So, nice to know that <laughs> the rumors are true. Also, we can just convert this into a room. Who's doing the least... Ronic body, you are absolutely hating everything, aren't you? <laughs> it's fine, we'll give him his own room, and we might as well make everyone else a room while we're carving out this area, so... Let's go ahead and do that. Not entirely too sure if I mentioned this already, but I'll mention it again just in case. Uh, the light goal for this episode is quite simple. You guys might already know what it's going to be. It's going to be one like for episode three. I'm just going to kind of keep it like that. We should probably not be next to those rhinoceroses. It, they are getting closer and it's getting more and more worrisome. Like I was saying though, uh, if you want to see episode 3 of this, just go ahead and like it. That is how I am kind of notified of you guys wanting more RimWorld. And I know other series don't have to go through what RimWorld is going through right now. And I know that. And I think that's somewhat of a smart idea because RimWorld was... A bit of an option that I don't think a lot of people really like me playing, to be honest. <laughs> I do get some complaints about playing RimWorld instead of something like Minecraft Dungeons or Garden Warfare. And so that's why, if you're wondering why it is a like goal, that's why I want to make sure. Eh, is there going to be enough people who want to watch it? If there is, then well, it's the right like goal. Right now I'm keeping it low though, because to be honest, I just kind of enjoy it. <laughs> they all got their own beds now, which is, you know really really nice it means that they aren't going to be sleeping out in the rain yes yeah, so that's good i am thinking about starting another farm because our current farm you know it's nice and all but if we farm up some more stuff then that means that we can use it to trade with others and we have this gigantic area over here so i thought what if we started a very small farm like in this little area here like yeah like there, like a 4x7, no, 4x8, four by, four by we'll keep it symmetrical. And we will grow trees here. Uh, okay, we can't grow trees here, never mind. <laughs> I decided that we'll end up growing, let's see here, what did I end up? Cotton. Cotton's a good option because it allows us to make, like, clothes, and with our clothes we can trade to others, and also we just have a nice supply of clothes and people don't have to be mad because they're just wearing bad clothing, so... You know, there is that. This is going out pretty well. Uh, we do have one major problem, though, and this is a major, major problem. We don't have anywhere to store anything, which isn't exactly, you know, the best. Starvation. What? Eat. Oh, we have no food. Okay, uh, I would like you to harvest these berries that have sort of been growing here for the past couple of times. Can we get someone to prioritize harvesting all of these, please? And then nothing else for a little while. Thank you very much, Hoppadana Dog. You will be our savior. We'll give Hoppadana Dog the revolver, because Marnik Body refuses to do anything else. And we'll also have him wear the flak armor, because uh, Hoppadana Dog will be our hunter of sorts. I think he's pretty good at it, isn't he? Yeah, Hoppadana Dog's good at hunting. Alright, Hoppadana Dog. You'll be our hunter. All right, he's just trying to tame a rat right now. Cause let's all be honest, we just want a tamed rat. Papa dog, if you could please prioritize hunting the alpaca, we would all be greatly appreciated. Yep, just 
shoot wildly at it, it might work eventually, uh, if you try hard enough. Because it's just an alpaca. Ooh. It's a raid. Raid, 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 raid. Where? Jump to locations. Oh, oh, there <laughs> Oh, that raid did not, um... Uh, <laughs> that did not... It didn't go so well for them, though, did it? <laughs> we'll take the jade, and we'll take your steel club. You're dead, so I don't exactly know what we'll do to you, but... Like... Uh, congratulations, I guess. We got food, which is... Took us long enough, now didn't it? <laughs> took us far too long to get that meal, didn't it? Jeez, okay, we would like to make... Simple meals. That's all we can basically make. And we'll do until we have 10. Yep, that's a fine amount. And we're going to need lumber for that. Uh, Luke, if you would like to... Oh, nope, you guys already got it. Okay, now who is prioritized on cooking? Do we even have a good chef? Luke is our chef. Alright, and he's the only one actually good at it, so he probably won't food poison everyone. Hopefully, right? <laughs> so, Luke... <laughs> Ronick. It's not happening, Moronic. Not happening, Hot Banana Dog. You're gonna eat meals. Cook at the stove, please, before they eat all the meat raw. Jeez. You're a bunch of savages. I'm putting Luke on a different schedule than everyone else. Because he's our only chef, we need our morning meals for the other two. And so that's gonna be kind of Luke's job when it starts coming to nighttime. So when everyone else is asleep, Luke will be making... The meals for everyone, and then Luke, right now, I would like you to actually focus on doing something short, like prioritizing that, just so that you can go back to your normal schedule, like so. You're going to eat, and then I bet you're going to go straight to bed. Yep. Alright, Luke, good night, and everyone else, good morning. Uh, this doesn't mean that Hop and is the only one with the, the capability of actually mining. So, Muronic Body, sadly, it looks like you're going to be back on the mining list. Now, I would actually like you to mine out this little room right here, just so we can start getting our dining room set up. And I'm saying that because if we get our dining room set up, then it, that basically allows us to get an easy pass to not having people have mental breakdowns, which is not exactly what I call a goal of mine. So, yeah, I would like to cut that out at the start, not when it gets out of hand. The blueprints for the dining room has been set out, just so that we can start to, you know, get a dining room. Ooh, we are going to need some light in there, so I'll put that in there just so we get the light. But they do seem to be a bit iffy about actually putting, like, wood into those torches. So, we'll have to see how this goes. And Luke is now on the working schedule. Meaning that Luke, uh, your main job right now would be to cook. And sadly, it doesn't look like you have grow or plant cut. Which means that you can't exactly do a whole lot after that. So, Luke, do you have any food for you? Oh, no, we need material. Which I'm assuming the material will be the refueling of the stove. So... That is exactly what we'll have you do. We'll have you refuel the stove. And no, we need to actually have food now. Alright. Luke, this is going to be a slight problem. This means you're going to have to start to actually, you know, plant cut. Which means you might go haywire. <laughs> so, Luke will give you plant cut. And we're going to have you harvest some berries. Just so that you can cook the meals. Because, like I said, your main job right now is to... Uh... Make sure that our sto like our people are fed, and so yeah. We have run into quite a predicament here. Uh, none of our colonists actually have good crafting, uh, <laughs> and so because of that, it's a bit of a problem when we're trying to, like you know, make sure everything's fine. Because we can't actually make the walk-in freezer right now until we have better crafting. And so we're kind of fucked. Uh... <laughs> yeah, not what I call good. 
And so... Huh. Don't exactly know what to do now. I guess that'll be next episode's problem, though. If you liked it, like and subscribe for more content like this. Uh, remember, the like goal is one like to see another episode of RimWorld, and uh, yeah, and remember, see ya!